Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will be modeling this strange shape. It's kind of a spring or coil. Uh, let's part, start by opening a new part. In the top plane, I create one sketch. And in the sketch first, I create a circle. Sorry, I close only. Here we have a diameter of 100. I will have 3x line and I will convert them to construction. Yes. We can send unnecessary parts and we start to model it. Uh, give some dimensions, sorry. Here 20, here 10. It's a simple operation. And we right click on the line, sketch tools, split entities, and then split our sketch. So we don't have here some, uh, we don't have a line, it's just a construction geometry. Yes, this is fine. After this operation, we come to the right plane, create sketch, and we drop on this point one circle which have a diameter of 12.5 and then I need a line again I combine this two point convert it to construction geometry right click sketch tools split entities I create these lines these split entities because of the loft operation it will help you to control your merging points so this is looking fine and we look again on the top plane normal to create here one more sketch so simply same operation let's convert this one i will need 3x line yes we are going to send this out. In total will be 30. Here we have a 10. And in fact, this we didn't need it. I realize now. And here you can trim or you can make, as I did earlier, split entities and create here online so something like this guys looking fine top plane is selected and this line is selected and we create the plane on this plane we will create one circle we place here we combine this point with this point with a line this line will be a construction geometry and this will be 25. Uh, last thing, we are going to create here again as split entities. One and two. Yes. So we are pretty much done. The rest will be fun. Uh, we come to surfaces, this web surface. This is profile. This is pad. First object created. Same operation here and here we have again one surface web. So later on we go to loft, we right click, selection, selected, selection manager, right click and we select this object as well. When you have these uh, control points, the transition will be good, it will not be uh, torsioned. So, tangents to the face and tangents to face. You can play with the values. I'm going to make 1.5, 1.5 here as well. And we are going to right plane. So, uh, we go features, mirror, select everything. 
we can try here unit surfaces if it's not doing that we can skip yes we have something like this guys and we go origin we select top plane and under reference geometry we select axis so at the center of this whole happening I create an axis we go to circular pattern we select bodies these are all individual bodies we select them and we created here this whole model surfaces mid surface everything selected and we can try to make merge entities I expect this uh, connections to uh, lose no it didn't happen hmm. it happened here if you unclick you will see what this comment makes let's keep it it reduces number of uh, edges so on top plane I create a new sketch I select here a circle and the diameter will be 100 exactly at the center of my swap so later on I go to right plane sketch I come from here to this point and then a bit continue first is construction geometry control is click and I select my circle Appears, and then here I will give a bit more if we can make 13 can go protrude a little bit from our surface surfaces swap and this line I will have one another simpler of this version if you are having difficulty to understand this one I recommend that you to recommend you to check that one as well so 60 revolutions I would like to have so what I have two set of surface they are both selected under surface bodies and then I go to sketch and then intersection curve intersection of this two surface will be converted to a 3d uh, geometry 3d line set of lines Yes, in top plane I create one sketch, then I pick a little circle and I come here. I will give my diameter three and a half. I will close this one. Surface selected, no feature selected, swap, and then the pad I will select here this ready sketch. It can take some time to create it. Well, I will stop my video here. I got my preview, it is looking fine, and I will complete my operation. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please make a comment and hit the like button. If you find it difficult, please watch the other simpler video. See you in another video.